right, Pisces, welcome to your you versus them spread. Depending on the title, it's the person that you thought of when you clicked on this title. How you think of them, feel for them, what you would like to happen in the future. Same with them, what they think and feel for you and what they would like to see happen. This could be somebody you're in separation with. Um, somebody that you've been with for a while and it just got stagnant and you're you know, wondering where it's going. <clears throat> this could be somebody you just met and you're coming here for clarity. And I apologize in advance for my allergies. All right, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Spirit. Message for you versus them. Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So in the United States, the next holiday is Memorial Day. So it could be one of the summer holidays. But it's almost like the boat, I just realized this, as long as I've had this deck, the boat is being guided by an angel. You could have met this person during a holiday. Maybe at a holiday party or... It'll, it'll, be, it'll be different for all of you. And if it doesn't completely resonate, Always check out your moon sign because there are your emotions in a situation, in a relationship. The Venus is how you respond in a relationship. Um, your love, your desires. <clears throat> and then the rising sometimes is always much stronger than the sign, the sign you were born under, your sun sign. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. It's almost like Spirit's telling you to do what you need to do to get grounded. If you're in separation from this person, you know, and you're just always thinking about them, wondering if they're going to return, you know, try to do something with your time. Get grounded. If you meditate, meditate. If there's so many meditations on YouTube to get you started that are so minimal in time. You can even listen to it when you're driving your car or walking. It doesn't have to be this big elaborate, you know, meditation session. It could be very just maybe seven minutes, five minutes. But it's getting you grounded, clearing your head, allowing spirit to come in. All right, that's how you think of them. Feel for them and what you would like to see happen in the future. What they think of you, feel for you and what they want in the future with you. And at the bottom, strength. <clears throat> so Pisces, you could be de dealing with Leo. But it's through this process, whether you're together, whether you just met this person, whether you are in separation, it's the strength that comes to you, you know, your situations in life that you've learned from. You're at a good spot. You're feeling very strong. Willing to, be, you know, work at anything, any person that brings substance to you. And what you feel for them is sadness. Or what you think of them is sadness. If they walked away from you. Your back is towards the two cups. Like, you know, there's still two cups here. And it's like, I don't care. I don't have my person. So you're feeling sadness. You're like, it just has you only, like I said, only thinking about them and what didn't happen. This is very similar to a reading I just did last night. I can't remember their placements, but... What you feel for them, they may have walked away from you and they caused you sadness, Pisces. You might have had to walk away from them. We'll see what else comes out. And what you want, you want them. You want their, this soulmate connection. It looks like two, fem two females in this stack. So for some of you, it could be a same-sex relationship. It even could be... Um, you know, a friend of yours that you just feel a soulmate connection with. 
but there is walking away in sadness. What they think of you, they think of you as very grounded and humble, able to take care of themselves. Look how beautiful this, this woman, character, <laughs> this animation is. So beautiful and abundant, ready to give her um, pentacle, her emotion, her abundance to someone, to share it, to be supportive. That's what they think of you. What they feel for you, keep its arrows. They want to speak to you. They want to make them move and come towards you, maybe even offer you an apology if they were the one that caused the sadness, caused the breakup, or the walking away. And what they want to see happen in the future. There's two ways of looking at this. You guys, I feel like, are definitely in a pause. Um, reflecting, trying to gain a different perspective on this situation. But it's also the aha moment. What she would like to, what this person, I say she because of the braids, but what they would like to happen is for you to have that aha moment. If they did the walking away, it's letting your, you know, letting your guard down and allowing the communication to come in. That's what they would like to see happen. Spirit's advice, both of you have the magic to make this work. Both of you have the power always within you to make this work. If you were truly dedicated and feel something for this person, Pisces, you have the power to come together and the magic to make it happen. We all have what we need to manifest the life we truly want. It's the dedication and going the distance and this wanting to support one another in good times and when things are messed up. Spirit saying you both have the power to make this happen. We're going to get a little clarity and see. It's like you're both standing there waiting for something to happen, waiting for your ships to come in. It, it's after the Two of Wands, so you've already made a plan, but you're waiting for it to come in. And with the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom, they it is going to come. It's going to come into fruition. It's going to come towards both of you, but you know, like Spirit says, the Magician, the Three of Pentacles, make your own magic. Don't wait for it to come to you. There we go. The Knight of Pentacles. It might be a small move, small, no, slow moving energy. But it's going to be something you can trust because it took a while to come to you. It's like through the journey to get back to one another, you've learned both self love, self respect, abundant. Make your, both of your lives bonded separately so that when you come together, you have more to offer one another. But it is in motion. You might be standing there waiting for your ships to come in, but there is going to be communication on one of your parts, the transformation. See what I mean? I definitely feel like there was an ending but there's also a transformation happening. That's where the hanged man comes into effect. It's, you know, hanging out, going, like touching base with your soul and your heart, clearing your head and waiting for that aha moment. Both of you have laid the foundation with the seven of pentacles. Through conversation, through texting, in the separation, it's like you both might have already said what you want to happen but nobody really made that leap. It's just waiting for your ships to, or for your, for growth, for, for something to happen. Because the foundation's already there. You're already in separation. 
I'm sure you know at some point, at, you know it's on some level how, what they feel for you. And they also know on some level even what you feel for them, even though you're in separation. It's now like, you know, just waiting for the growth to happen. But you're each other's wish fulfillment with the star. It's like, see how the stars are aligning? You're each other's wish fulfillment. And again, the Wheel of Fortune's at the bottom. Try to let me know how this resonates because it's not that you don't care for one another. I feel like you were the one that was very grounded, had a little bit more to offer. They might not have come 100% the first time. All right. Spirit, a message from Pisces person to Pisces. A message to Pisces from their person. We both know I am not the one for you. And in that separation, I feel like that that might have been the energy, that might have been the thought process at the time. But look at the bottom. You were the best thing in my life. They might have just not been able to give you exactly what you were bringing to the table. They might have got a little um, jittery when it came to how much you felt for them or maybe what they knew they were feeling for you. With honeymoon here, I feel like it's a higher level of commitment the two of you are capable of. All right, Pisces, a message from you to them. Thank you. I bury myself in work to forget you. And with you showing up as the queen of pentacles here for what they think of you, you probably maybe worked a lot more than they did. You maybe were even um, higher up in your career, your job, where they it was like they needed you needed to be there. The demand for you had to be there when it came to your finances and your career. And you probably did what you do best is work, take care of yourself, bury yourself in work so you can not think about anything else. I totally get it. I have to tell you, when my, my, my totally different subject, but kind of the same idea. When my puppy, when my dog passed away, the one that like, grew up with me and had just been through so many things with me. It was like my sidekick. And I'll leave it at that or I'll get emotional. I could not go home. Like I just went to work the next day and everybody was like, are you sure? You know, cause I, and I did, I don't have children. So my animals to me are my kids. I never really met the person, you know, to have children with. So, um, I always had, you know, dogs, cats, whatever came into my path that needed love so when my pop when my dog died and it was a chocolate lab I literally had to go right back to work the next day I couldn't be home like there was nothing at home for me I it was really hard for me to walk through the door and be in that empty surroundings so needless to say months later I got a puppy and it was a boxer and I dread the day I'll have to feel that again but it's almost the same thing it's like your person Without them, you just, you don't want to be left with your thoughts. You don't want to be left with them not beside you. So you just threw yourself into work. All right, guys, let me know how this resonates. And I'm also going to do um, the next biggest change coming to your love life spread as soon as I get through this. So like I said, if it doesn't completely resonate, go to your rising moon and Venus sign. Check out those messages because it'll give you more of a picture more clarity. All right? Love and like, guys. Stay safe.